Okay, so we're trying something a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to record this and then we'll see which one is better, which one works for me the best and go from there because I'm finally not sick. So that's also good. And that's also another reason why it's taking so long to get these done. A lot of streams I could just do and play a game and it doesn't revolve around my voice entirely, but this, it revolves completely around my voice. But anyway, we're going to stop talking and we're just going to play the game. So hope you guys enjoy. I think we were, let's just leave. Let's see if we can leave. Hey, about exploring the island. It appears a map of this island has been installed on this e-handbook. If you use this, you should be able to find everyone easily. Actually, to be honest, before I arrived at this school, I did some research about everyone on the internet. I haven't learned everything about everyone, but I'm pretty sure I can give you some helpful info. Wait, you can research stuff like that on the internet? Huh? You didn't know? This school is so popular, there are message boards online dedicated to talking about its students. Then... Was I also? Hmm. I don't recall seeing your name there. I probably overlooked it. How unexpected. Well, it's not your fault if you can't really remember. I'm sure my name was mentioned on there. It's not a mistake I was accepted into Hope's Peak yep. Academy. Anyway, I'll help out too. So why don't we begin making your introductions? Okay, you're right. So first I need to introduce myself to everyone else on the island then. I should apologize, there was something I forgot to tell you. If you look at the map in your e-handbook, you will be able to see where everyone is. You can also instantly travel to any location displayed as go. Also, when you travel to a point with an exclamation mark, the story will progress. It's super convenient. Now then, let's go. Travel on the island can be done through this screen. You can move with the WASD keys. You can run by holding shift while you move. If you press the Q and E keys, you can also instantly move to the next area. Oh. You probably realized it by now, but when... But you happen to have your very own pet inside your e-handbook. Well, how... No? <laughs> what? Your pet grows based on the number of steps you take, so try walking to places instead of using map jump. When you finish raising your pet, there may be a small reward. Oh my god. Uh... uh there we go. farm here oh excuse me a ranch ram ranch um this looks like a ranch though there aren't many animals around here right oh you found it D you again seriously where do you keep appearing from i i could show up anywhere anytime the system allows me to appear anywhere on the island Ta -da! it's all thanks to this handy dandy magic stick magic stick huh Talking about that toy she's holding? Huh. Still, I am quite troubled. A ranch without any moo cows is like a soccer team without any balls. <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Alrighty! Just leave it to me and my handy dandy magic stick. Bibbity bobbity, bibbity bobbity, bibbity bibbity, bobbity bobbity. Boo! Turn into a moo cow! What? <laughs> A huge success! Ooh, what was all that just now? A chicken changed into a, a cow. That's not it. Nah, it's probably some sort of trick or illusion. I bet it was set up before we got here. She was probably trying to make us happy, but I guess it had the opposite effect on you, Hajime. A trick? An illusion? Well, if you think rationally, it does make sense. Chicken can't just change into a cow. Messing with living things like that is just not cool, you know? Oh, 
I didn't see Akane when we got here. I'd rather talk to Akane first. Yo! Hey, who are you dudes? It's nice to finally meet you. I'm Hajime Hinata. Uh, gotcha. And who's this other dude? What? Uh, haven't we already met? Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I pretty much... I pretty much suck at remembering names, and I've met so many interesting characters today. <laughs> I'm Nagato Komoeda. If you can, please, don't forget my name again. Yo! The name's Akane Owari. Nice to meet ya. Ultimate Gymnast. Well, Akane is known as the Ultimate Gymnast, and an all-around super athlete. Rumor has it, she's all wild troublemaker, but her athletic ability is off the charts. However, her basics and fundamentals are all over the place, so her gymnastic routines are all mostly improvised. If she's in her groove, she performs splendidly, but if she's not, she loses interest and switches it up. How self-centered, no matter how you cut it, she definitely sounds like a troublemaker. Even so, she's called the ultimate gymnast for a reason, so her performances must be amazing to see. I can't visualize her as a normal high school student. I mean, she's got a physique of an Olympic athlete. What? Huh? Don't tell me you don't expect it. Oh, I get it. So you have a thing for sexy bodies, huh? You're being really loud. I know you're doing it on purpose. Squish! Squish! But what's this kid doing? She's sitting down and she keeps pressing her finger onto the floor with all her strength. Uh, you okay? I haven't introduced myself, right? My name's Hajime Hinata. Hmm? I'm Hyoko Sayanji. Traditional squish, dancer. Squish. She hasn't stopped pressing her finger onto the floor. Seriously, what's she doing? And her appearance and voice, just so young. And her appearance and voice are so young. I can't believe she's actually a high school student. Actually, Hyoko's talent has made her known as the ultimate traditional dancer. As a rookie, the Japanese dance industry expects a lot from her. She's already performed overseas many times. It seems her performances are popular among young audiences, which is rare in the Japanese dance industry. Well, then again, her fans are mostly men. It's probably because she looks so young, her fans probably have all the same... Her fans probably all have the same niche or something. Squish! Squish! Hey, what exactly are you doing? Mm -hmm. I'm squishing! Uh, squishing what? Mr. Ants! Duh! Uh, come again? <laughs> if she squished her tummies just right, it makes this awesome sound. Hey, you! Wanna do it together? Uh, hell no. Oh, okay. <laughs> you wuss. This kid, her attitude doesn't match her appearance at all. Not a fan of Hyoko. <laughs> Not a fan. So, so this is the supermarket. It's pretty big. If we're on a tropical island. Does that mean we're in international waters? You're right. Thanks to this place, we won't need to worry about food and other necessities for a while. For a while? Wow. It's just a figure of speech. But there's no guarantee anything here is edible. What if all this stuff is poison? What? Uh, you certainly are the skeptical type. Of course I am. Even this supermarket is strange. Look around! We're in this gigantic supermarket and there's nobody else here except us. Hmm. Well, that can't be helped. Didn't you saw me say this island was uninhabited? That's exactly my point. Ugh. What happened? It's nothing. Oh. She's staring at me funny. Um, um you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is she crying? Hajime. Bullying a girl. Not cool, Hajime. I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh, so your name is Hajime. If it's okay with you. May I please remember your name? Of course, I don't mind you remembering it, but... My, my name is Mikan Sumiki. Um, 
from the from the bottom of my heart, I hope we can get along. Ultimate nurse. Hello, nurse. <laughs> well, um, you know, <laughs> my mind is drawing blank from nervousness. And I went through all the trouble preparing 5,000 different topics to discuss after introductions. That seems excessive. <laughs> it's okay if you take your time and remember slowly. We'll wait as long as it takes. We'll wait for you forever if that's what it takes. <laughs> Isn't he just putting more pressure on her? Well, I guess I'll just ask you since you I won't get anywhere asking her. What's her deal? Oh. <laughs> ah, Mikan is the ultimate nurse. If you ever get injured, you'll need her help, so it's best if you get along with her now. If you got wounded and don't treat it, there's a good possibility you'll get an infection and die. Don't say something so morbid so naturally. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing so suddenly. <laughs> it's just I can't help it. I'm so happy. I can't remember the last time I made any friends. I'm sorry. Not that you actually want to be friends with me. I'm so sorry I said something so presumptuous. <laughs> I'll do anything you say. Just please don't hate me. Man, bullying a girl? Not cool, Hajime. Seriously, why does this keep happening? Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, hope fragment. I guess that was the conversation. Peeking. Peeking. I'm in love already. Hello. Who are you? Uh, I'm Hajime Hinata. Hello. Your tension is super low. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Ah, that's right. Introductions are a go-go. E. Buki. Mio da! Put it together and what do you get? Ibuki Miyoda! Ultimate musician. Love it. Yes! Alright, introductions are finished. More importantly, check out this bomb. <laughs> check out this. Oh my god. More importantly, check out this bombastic supermarket. I see. They got I hamburger, see. ramen noodles, chili beans, bratwurst, pasta, ooh, melons. No problemo. Americans, Chinese, Mexicans, Germans, Italians, and even people from Yubari would shop here. Yahoo! Man, I'm getting hella stoked. I'm 31 flavors of stoked for all this deliciousness. <sighs> Man, I'm excited I get hungry, mungry. I, I don't understand it myself. Why do I get hungry when I'm excited? Why do I get excited when I'm hungry? <laughs> the human body sure is a mystery. <laughs> uh, this eccentric young lady is known as the ultimate musician. She used to play guitar in an all-girls band that was super popular with high school girls. Apparently, their hit single, After School Pyongyang Hour, sold over a million copies. A super popular all-girl high school band. That sounds familiar. But... Due to creative differences, she left the band to pursue a solo career. Creative differences? Oh my my! Are you interested? You, you could hear me? <laughs> Duh! Ibuki's a musician after all. Guitar! Like Shabur, Bach, Edison, Van Gogh, Perez, say, Senna, I too am an awesome musician. Oh, so you're saying you have good hearing. Most of the, yeah, I was about to say, most of those people weren't any musicians at all. <laughs> with the little details. I'm in love. <laughs> airport, airport. This is an airport, right? So these things over there must be, yes, Hajime, airplanes. <laughs> Can we use those planes to escape this island? Uh. Nah, that's impossible. If they were damaged, I could fix them, but it looks like these planes are just for show. Just for show? Man. The engines have been completely removed. Nothing I can do about that. Completely removed? Whoever brought us to this island must have also done that, right? The same person who's controlling that stuffed animal who saw me. But who's doing this? And why did they bring us to this island in the first place? And how did they do it? The more I think about it, the less it makes sense. That's right! Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You and me haven't been introduced yet, right? Name's Kazuichi Soda. I'm the ultimate mechanic. Nice to meet ya.
<laughs> As expected from someone called the Ultimate Mechanic, Kazuichi is a savant when it comes to fixing machines. If he says it's impossible to fix this plane, it's truly beyond repair. Hey! Even so, to actually remove the engine, whoever's keeping us here must have planned this to a T. You think so too, huh? Doesn't that seem pretty strange to you? That was close! Yeah, it's pretty strange, but I think it's an acceptable level of strange, you know? <coughs> Doing Kazuichi and Nagito at the same time is gonna suck. All these dudes with like these crazy, like, crazy voices, and I kinda have to pick his because I can't do that one. Oh man. Whew. Huh? I mean... Well, think about it. It's not like we're being forced to do something dangerous or anything. Ah. That was mentioned in the safety precautions for the school trip. Remember, the school trip guidelines written in the e-handbook. Extreme violence is prohibited on this island. Please live peaceful and relaxing lives with your fellow students. Be considerate of each, be considerate of each other and work together to obtain hope fragments. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere with the student. An exception to this rule is made if any student violates a rule. For now. It looks like we're being kept safe, so why wouldn't this be like any other school trip? Hmm. There's nothing dangerous on this island. Spend these peaceful and relaxing days nourishing hope. Just as Usami said earlier. It seems these rules are in place to help us do that. Are you saying you believe what that thing told us? She forced us to come here, you know. But... But don't be such... Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this like a situation... Don't be such a pessimist. You should look at this situation with a bit more hope, you know? Optimism is essential for people to live satisfied lives. That's right! Well, I guess it's okay if we just enjoy our vacation and see how this whole thing plays out, right? <laughs> if you stare if you stare closely at that strange looking bunny girl, she might start looking pretty cute. I'm actually jealous of how carefree he's being right now. A little weird, Kazuichi. A little weird. But you know what? To each their own. You fiend. Stop right there. If you value your look. Stop right there. If you value your life, do not come any closer. Huh? Fine. I said stay back. Oh, very well. I shall accept that courage of yours. What is this guy talking about? <laughs> Would you like to know my name? Others may see your courage as recklessness. However, I welcome it. Listen well. In honor of your courage, I shall reveal to you my name. May you never forget it as long as you live. You may call me Gundam Tanaka. Remember it well, for it is the name that will one day rule this world. I love Gundam. He's, <laughs> He's such a... Literally the Chinibio experience, bro. Ooh this world he's kidding right if he's actually serious that's pretty out there let me ask now then it is my turn to ask questions whose master are you huh you which tribe did you make your pact with answer me uh, what do you what what do you mean pact burn in the fires of pandemonium answer me now thou <laughs> Answer me now, though I shall cast you into a watery grave once you do. Uh, then it's best if I don't answer. Perhaps? I think he's asking if you used to have a pet. Pet? No, the only animal I've ever taken care of was a hermit crab who passed around in elementary school. Impossible! A mere insect? Chase your powerlessness! Your magic essence caps in a lowly five! Trash! Trash? Really? Meal! <laughs> Is it wrong to call trash trash? Trash like you should not dare to speak to one as grand as me! My name is Gundam Tanaka! Who do you think I am? I 
am the great and powerful Gundam Tanaka, Supreme Overlord of Ice. Hold on a minute, something strange just came out of your scarf. This is the Tanaka Empire! Taming evil by using myself as a bed. Truly, this is the secret art of Tanaka Empire. Got a lot of cute hamsters, man. <laughs> it's like something you'd see on a nature show. I guess he totally fits the bill of Ultimate Breeder. <laughs> One of my four Dark Davis of Destruction Mirage Golden Hawk, Jumpy, has this to say. We're not used to going easy on our enemies, so don't make us angry. You wouldn't like us when we're angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know he seems a little odd, but apparently he did splendidly as a member of the breeding club. I've even heard he could tame any animal and even managed to succeed at proliferating an endangered species. Rumor has it, he, he can speak to animals. Well, that's probably just a joke. Speak with animals? Well, he's certainly eccentric enough in that regard. I mean, there's no way an old person would attempt to raise hamsters inside their own scarf. And we roll. I think you have to talk to everybody, but I, you know, it's a different game, who knows. Wow, this is a pretty nice hotel. Perhaps the Hotel Mirai, huh? Looks like it's named for the Japanese word for future. When we were told to live on this island, I was worried we'd have a, to pitch a tent or something. I'm glad. If we can live in a grand hotel like this, I don't think we'll have to worry about being comfortable. Comfort isn't an option here. We don't even know why we're being forced to live on an island. How can you just accept this? You're way too excited about living here. Hey. Well, it seems obvious that this area will make a good base, so why don't we have a look around for a bit? Why is this guy so calm? It's like he doesn't think the situation is a big deal at all. Has he been through a lot of trauma or something? A map will be displayed if you press the tab key. I said the tab key, don't make me repeat myself. There you go, it's the Y button. Um, usually they would show, don't, I think they usually show if anybody's around, like really close to you, right? No, they don't. Okay, so the map doesn't really matter. Good lord. Bruh. Hey, man. That's right. You haven't told me your name. Oh! My name. I am the ultimate team manager, Nekomaru Nidai! Did, what the, did I read, did I read that wrong? No, I didn't. Oh, man. Ultimate team manager. Woo! Uh, hello. Uh, hello. I'm Hajime Hinata. Your voice is too soft. Hold it right there. Your voice is too soft. Let your voice raise from the bottom of your stomach. Uh, I'm Hajime Hinata? No, you can be louder than that. Do it again. My name is Hajime Hinata. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Nekomaru Nidai. Don't forget it. Even if you go to hell. I'm the ultimate team manager. Nekomaru Nidai. <laughs> you don't need to repeat your name so much, I won't forget it. <laughs> I agree to your terms. He sure is boisterous. It's not just his voice, his whole body seems loud. Yep. Nekomaru Nidai is known as the ultimate team manager. The ultimate team manager? So he's not on a team, he just manages one. Nope. He's not just a team manager. After all, he's an ultimate. He's traveled to numerous towns and played an active role in various sports clubs managing their teams. For instance, he led some high school rugby team full of delinquents to victory in the national playoffs. He also rescued a baseball club on the verge of being shut down and led them to national victory as well. Rumor has it, he's even training the famous Japanese pitcher who plays in the American League. If all that's true, he totally deserves to be called the ultimate team manager, but... <laughs> 
build like this, he'd be better off playing on a team instead of managing it. Huh? Who the hell are you? Don't talk all friendly and shit to me, dumbass. This guy's already in a crappy mood. Are you? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You got something you want to say, bastard? Now, now. Uh, relax, Fuyahiko. We're only here to introduce ourselves. Huh? What? Introduce yourselves. Hey. You see, you haven't been properly introduced to each other, right? Name's Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. Just so we're clear, I don't plan to act friendly and shit with you guys. That's fine by me, my guy. Even though he's got a baby face, he's also incredibly rude. Um... Fuyuhiko is a high school student and the heir to the Kuzuryu clan. The Ku... The... The Kuzuryu clan? Don't tell me he's a... Yep. I'm sure you've at least heard of them before, right? The Kazuryu clan is the largest criminal syndicate in the nation, with a membership passing 30,000. How admirable. Which means he's the ultimate Yakuza. The heir to the Yakuza clan. The heir to a Yakuza clan. And it's the Kazuryu clan, no less. Actually. By the way, mentioning his baby face around him is expressly forbidden, so you better be careful. You'll run out of fingers before he's done with you. That was close. I nearly lost all my fingers. Nagito, you're like my savior or something. <laughs> you're just exaggerating. Yo, guess not. Hey, bastard! Hey, bastard. If we're all done here, how about you dumbasses make like a tree and fuck off? So aggressive. I feel like everybody in this game is a little aggressive. You know what I mean? Hey! Hey, aren't you the guy who was squatting on the beach earlier and burying your face in your arms? Uh, yeah? You are a boy, right? You gotta keep it together, you know? At times like this, it's the boy's job to keep the girls safe? Uh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to introduce myself? I haven't done it yet, right? Let's see. I'm Mahiro Koizumi. I'll be counting on you from now on. Ultimate photographer. Actually, Mahiro is known as the ultimate photographer. She has a promising future as a photojournalist. I'm not an expert on photography, but I hear she's a young photographer who's won numerous awards. On that note, she's known for her skill at taking pictures of people. The ultimate photographer, huh? Well, there's a camera hanging from her neck. I kind of assumed that already. Aww. Honestly, I'm a little relieved. You guys seem decent enough. Huh? Decent? <laughs> well, there's a lot of weirdos here. I can't tell if they're really ultimates or, like, just insane. I'm eager to get along with everyone so we can get off this island, but I was worried things wouldn't go well at all. Get off this island? What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? That's what that stuffed animal Isami was saying. After you finish collecting all the hope fragments that you earn by getting along with everyone... Come on! This joke of a school trip will be over, and we can all leave this island together. If that's all we have to do, and we can go home? Is that true? Did you really mean that? Jeez! Hey, you should be paying closer attention. This is, like, really important. Hey. Uh, well, Hajime, now that you know this, you must feel a little relieved, right? As long as we live here peacefully, we'll be able to leave this island soon enough. So there's no reason for you to act so panicky. Even so... What's the reason? Why do we have to do something like this? I mean, to go through all this effort bringing us here so we can all live together and get along? Doesn't make any sense. But... And... I may not know where... Why... I may not know why we're here, but if it... If that... Fucking Christ. I may not know why we're here, but if that's all we have to do to go home, then that's all there is to it. I'm glad. Overall, I'm glad. I mean... It's really not that big of a deal. Not a big deal? Really? We're told on a... We're told we're on a school trip without any warning that we're taken to a place like this? And then we're told to forget about Hope's Peak Academy? Is he sure this isn't a big deal? Hey! No. Uh, you... Don't... Uh, me? What about your introduction? I've been waiting here like forever, you know? Oh, sorry. I'm Hachimei Hinata. It's nice to meet you. Mm. 
I see. Hajime Hinata, huh? Too bad! Sorry to disappoint you, but I've already made a mental note to remember you as unreliable Hajime. You better do it's your best! It's gonna be tough for you to change my mind. You better man up and try even harder to do your best. <laughs> I see you're whipped already, Hajime. Got it! I'm talking to both of you. You better man up and do better. Got it? Oh, I hate you too. Oh, man. That is rough. <laughs> But you know what? We're going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the <laughs> these few introductions. We'll finish the introductions next time. All right. We'll see you later. Bye.